Good afternoon and a uh, very warm welcome to well, the now very dark 4.30 in the afternoon, Ostersund. We have the women 7.5 kilometres just coming up very shortly and uh, uh, look at the start sheet. The first 10 to set off today from a field of 103. Well, there we are, slips over. She didn't race in the individual, the 15 kilometre, but back into the field today. She, the Russians will be hoping she has her form back. Gaspari uh, down in 20th. Makarainen ranked third in the sprint races last year. She's uh, starting big bit number 21. Vilukina just behind her. And uh, further down, Vita Shemarenko. She had a good season last year. And uh, well, it's all action ready for the start. Uh, certainly looks like uh, Henkel, Andrea Henkel, the longest serving member of the German team. In fact, the veteran of the World Cup completely 17 years now since she started her World Cup biathlon journey. And what a journey it's been. She has 21 victories and oh, 17 times silver medals and 15 times in third place. So Henkel really is uh, leading the way for the Germans. Well, first to go in the field of this 103. It's 30 second intervals all the way down. And it's Solimdal from Norway. She's fast, she's aggressive, she doesn't back off, she doesn't give in on her journey. And she came fourth here last year. She stumbles off the start. She's so keen to get away, to get her journey underway and if she could just keep it steady on the range really does have a chance instead of fourth from last year to uh, place herself on a podium with the way that she skis well the course the track it's 2.5 kilometers before the shoot prone 2.5 they then shoot stand only five shots each time in should any targets remain standing you go around the 150 meter penalty loop teammate of Solendal it's uh, Elise Ringen her best placing from last season was 10th. She's certainly spent the summer working on her weaknesses, building her endurance capacity. She's 23 years of age now and expecting better things this season. Well, there she is, Andrea Henkel, still loving her biathlon. Interestingly, in the individual race on Thursday for the women, over 15 kilometers, she started her performance a little slow on the skis uh, she missed two shots out of the first 10 and then she seemed to slot back into the the discipline the mindset that she has over all these years on how to hit targets and she hit the last 10 improving her performance dramatically and now Karin Stromstedt best ever position there 15th and uh, well, the home fans here, and there are many, there's a lot of Russians in the stands as well. Norwegians, Swedes mainly, and uh, Russians come over to support their team. Another one of the early starting Germans, it's uh, Miriam Gusner. As uh, Shkardino lines up, uh, she's no... She has a lot of experience now in biathlon. Well, she was born in St. Petersburg in Russia and lived there throughout her childhood, but uh, now she lives in Minsk and competes for Belarus. And the energy I feel within the Belarus team with, of course, Domrashova's great performances, as we just had a quick glance at uh, Anastasia Kuzmina. She'll be starting for the Slovakian team. Uh, as, uh, Daria Dobracha, Dobracheva, the 26-year-old, uh, gets her journey underway. She was second in the world last year, but she's good. She's very good, and the confidence is growing all the time. The way she floats across the surface with her impeccable balance. Dobracheva, she had three third positions in this race last year. Four second places. She didn't get the victory, and she's wanting to put that right today. Gusner, Miriam Gusner, 22 year old. She missed four out of 20 in the individual race. Placing her 11th, she has the ski speed to get by 
or to help her on her way to get a top five should she miss one or maybe even two. That's such a good ski speed. As has Solendal. This is lovely skiing. Look at the way she just drops through the left side, throwing the arms behind her, getting the energy on its return to press more weight through the skis. Tina Bachmann. Well, Germany were and are hoping that Tina Bachmann is the name to carry German women's biathlon. But it didn't quite turn out for Bachmann in the individual race. She finished in 37th, missing four targets. Smile here from uh, Anastasia Kuzmina. Her son will be watching this. Five-year-old. And it must be tough. The World Cup tour, it's uh, many months on the road, uh, living with your team. Of course, there are breaks for the Christmas period and uh, prior to the World Championships, but at all times, the athletes are focused, they have to be concentrated, they have to carry out their training. As Laukonen, who lives in Vokati in Finland, roughly upper middle Finland, where they built a, what is it, 10, 12 years ago, they built a, a tunnel, partly under the ground, mostly or half of it above the ground and then filled in on undulating terrain, big concrete tunnel effect and uh, about five meters wide and uh, created a snow tunnel, the first of its kind. And uh, now Germany and Norway, sorry, Germany and Sweden have also done the same. It just allows you to bring youngsters in for a little bit of skiing experience throughout the summer months. What luxury. Great to see Sleptova. Once upon a time, Russia's best and uh, maybe we'll see the same again today. Koska Zimenek. She skied well in the individual. Her best position is fifth. That was Vancouver at the Olympic Games in the individual. Welcome back and uh, an opportunity now to see Viv number one. Solim Dow just coming in. She's probably going to move all the way up as far to the right. In fact, onto the lane in which she's zeroed. Each nation is allocated a zero lane, and it makes sense to drop onto the lane in which you had your practice shooting earlier. And the practice shooting finishes 15 minutes prior to the race start. First bullet has been pushed forward into the chamber. She's stabilizing. Oh, second shot missed at 2 o'clock on the edge. Third shot missed at 11 o'clock on the edge. Dead center for the last one. Egil Kjelland, former fantastic shot on the range. Egil Kjelland, when he was racing for some, what, 10 or 12 years, but uh, don't think he'll be impressed with his first athlete today in the prom session. 3.1 seconds behind for Kuzmina. She'll be happy with that. 1.3 kilometers just gone. And it's a, it's flat from the start line. And then we get up into the woods. And this is the high point of the course. It's a tricky little descent. Doesn't look too difficult from, from where we're sitting. But when your legs have just been spent to the top of the hill, it takes the feeling away, the balance. So Norwegians were shooting on lane three there. Now Henkel positioning herself very quickly onto lane four. Look at the end of the rifle, how much she moves with her breathing, but always falling central onto the target. It was two breaths, it's now one in between shot. Lovely. Yes, as expected. Now Henkel's ski time. At 1.3, Henkel was 13 seconds off Dombrachova's time. As we pick up on bit number four, Anna Karin Stromstad. What a pity. The middle shot. When your body alignment should be at its best in the middle shot. 
He's missed the fourth as well. Regained her composure for the fifth. Not a great start for the Swede, and uh, the spirit can drop so much. You know, instead of skiing straight out onto the next 2.5-kilometer track, she will now have to take a little left turn and uh, round the 150-meter penalty. Rasheva, so fast into the range of... Just try and get a reading on how fast it actually is ahead of anyone else. In fact, she's uh, slowed down, just coming into range. Just a second off Solendal's time into the range. But shot so fast, and with that comes Riske. She missed her middle shot. Gusner, this is even faster. Just 1.4 seconds faster than Dolrasheva into the range. Could that be her undoing, coming in too hard? You find it more difficult to recover, to stabilise the, the rifle. It is windy, I can tell you, um, at the moment, and uh, Gusner's doing well to get these. Oh, until the last one. Harold Bosey there, his head just went up in the air. And, uh, he knows that she could get away with one target missed, but two targets missed, possibly too much. Bachmann's opportunity, I can... Just looking at her time, she really hasn't found her form at the moment. She's adjusting the sights, though. She's 22 seconds down on Solendal's time coming into the range. It's a long way. Well, Bachman needed, really needed all five uh, with her ski form just a little off. We thought it might be. Puts me up. Six seconds off the fastest time to range, and she's also missed two. This this difficult wind, uh, the turbulence, it's, it's swirling around within the range. Down at the target end, it's going one way. At the firing end, it's pressing down. really does put the, the bullets low and to the right. He just felt that position wasn't right. Uh, Lauken and she adjusted after the first shot missed. See her hair blowing in the wind just under her right hand. The compulse is uh, still on a 160 beats per minute. She did well to recover her position. Sletsuva. Now, Sletsuva's some 19.5 seconds off Solendal's time entering the range. Now, that's almost a penalty loop, so Sletsuva not in the race uh, two days ago, the 15 kilometer for health reasons, and uh, maybe not completely back on form. Struggling to get the breathing under control. Oh, and that hesitation in the flow, uh, 